think you'll ever see anything like it. I think that the fusion of color and form is uh, something that no one's ever seen to this degree. One can think of precedents, you know, Jean Arp, Surrealism, um, Miro, but at the same time the forms are sort of not like anything else. This is the first retrospective of Ken Price's work ever held in New York City. I find them in the end very hard to sort of pin down art historically. They're elusive, they're mysterious, they're funny, they're moving, um, they glow, they respond to lighting. In order to achieve this glowing, marvelous kind of orange and gold and blue, he used Murano colors that have glass in them, so they have this marvelous kind of iridescent quality. Kaelin is one of the most complex objects in the show, and these wonderful kind of folding tubular forms were all um, separate forms that he made, um, not with any kind of mold, but he just worked as a sculptor. I knew right from the beginning that I was working for a genius uh, as well as my father and he was a great guy so that was fun. There was never a doubt in my mind that I wasn't doing something great just being in the studio and, and being under him. There's uh, a little bit of my father in every piece. He had a lot of humor uh, that you see in the work. Uh, he had a lot of charm that you see in the work. Uh, he was a colorful guy which you see in the work. So it's very much a part of him. Even though, unfortunately, we lost him in February of 2012, he's so present in this show because it's not just the work, but it's the placement of the objects, the catalog. He was deeply involved with the photography of the objects. Price's approach was this is just his medium of choice. And for him, it was always about sculpture and about form. I don't know that one could say he ever really made traditional vessels, if you will, but there are these wonderful early works in the form of cups. These amazing so-called geometrics from around the early 80s have wonderful titles, um, The Wedge, Black Widow, Flag, Hawaiian. Um, this marvelous work, Hawaiian, has been, with its kind of cantilevered forms, um, has been compared to Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water House. I don't think people understand, even understand how they're made. It's almost like an organic occurrence. <laughs> I know how they're made, but I'll never tell. I think he was very, very demanding of himself and uh, I think a lot of things got tossed away because they had to be perfect. We are thrilled to be able to host the exhibition of Price's work. I'm proud of the art world for uh, doing this and I think it's a show that anybody should see and um, I, you know, it's very moving to my family to see my father here and, and it feels like he's finally arrived. Mm -hmm.